Hello beautiful souls, this is the Heart Space Tarot and Astrology coming to you with a Pico card reading. So we have um, the first deck which comes with a rose quartz crystal and then we have the second spread coming with a beautiful feather that I love <laughs> and then the third spread will be an amethyst please uh, pause and try to meditate on it and whichever spread catches your attention first then that's probably the best way to go with okay and try to meditate on it and whichever spread catches your attention first then that's probably the best way to go with okay Hello everybody, this is pile one. So whoever picked this pile, this is for you. This message is for you. We have the rose quartz, which symbolizes unconditional love and compassion, mostly. So this is a really beautiful crystal. All right, we'll put it here. And then we'll start with your message and your guidance. This is the Light Seer Sterile. Messages on the four collectives. I am good. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's do uh, the most important energy that needs to come through. Okay. Let's see what is it. What pile one is to know right now for their highest good. Thank you. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. It's it's mostly about keeping your thoughts, your money. <laughs> Four, uh, Four of Pentacles is um, an Earth energy. Uh, it can be it can be um, a greedy energy, but we'll have to see. We will clarify this card, okay? Um, I do feel like saving your money right now, it would be a very smart move, okay? Okay, let's move on and see the challenge. What's the challenge for this press? Oh, that flew. Two of Wands, okay. Two of Wands is a fire energy. Uh, it's mostly about waiting for the right opportunity. So you might be dealing with, um, actually you might have a project in mind, a work project, and you are waiting for the right opportunity to invest maybe. All right, we'll, we'll keep on going and we'll see what's that about. Okay, all right, so that's the challenge. And then let's see, what is the subconscious in the shadows? What's lurking in the shadows? Seven of Swords, okay. Um, this, let's see. It is an energy of deceit and sneaking around. But I think there's a secret. There's a secret that somebody is holding it on to. Okay. We'll clarify all these cards. What's coming to an end in the near future, please? For time one. Thank you. Okay, see? A period of waiting. You alchemized something. There's a uh, yin and yang effect here. And you've sat on, on an energy of healing here. And you've done it. You know, this is... all. You're almost there, okay? Okay, and then let's see the... What's... Chronos energy, what's in the life for you guys? Thank you so much. Ace of Cups, how lovely. Okay, so Ace of Cups is about unconditional love, right? Let's see, the rose quartz. What I was saying earlier. Unconditional love. It's about giving and receiving. It's about sharing your heart. Putting your heart on a platter, basically. That's what's in the light right now. That's what maybe somebody is thinking of doing. You or whoever you're thinking of right now. 
Okay, and then let's see what's coming in this energy. What's coming in this energy? Hopefully, the shuffling is not too loud. Okay, four of wands. Oh my god, what a beautiful spread! <laughs> okay, so four of wands is celebration. Uh, it's it's about passion, right? Look at these girls dancing, being happy, being content, being in their element. This is what's coming. I'm hearing four weeks. Four weeks. From the time you're seeing this. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what you're not seeing? What's your blind spot? What is your blind spot? What is your blind spot for pile one? Nine of swords and eight of wands fill out too. See, there's a there's some action that you are meant to take here, okay? And you're a little worried about it. There's too many thoughts haunting you right now. And I think that you have to just sit down with yourself and try to pinpoint those thoughts. See, we have a beautiful, I think it's a white dove, I'm not sure, but you know, throughout all these black clouds and black thoughts, there will always be hope, right? And so before you take any actions, I think it's very important for you to sit down with yourself and ask yourself, why do I feel this way? And what can I do to push away those, you know, dark feelings in a way? Um, it, it can be dark feelings, but it can also be fears, fears of doing something. So yeah, okay, let's keep going. Um, outside influences, outside influences, please, thank you so much. Guides, okay. Queen of Wands can be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, hmm, or Aries, but I'm really getting a Sag on this one. And Three of Wands, okay. So we had the, the Two of Wands in the challenge, and then the external influences. It's this Queen of Wands and Three of Wands. There, may, there might be a fire sign that will help you. That will help you and will take you to the next step. Yes. Okay. Um, there's there's somebody. There's, a, there's there's somebody that protects you in this life. There's like an angel um, that is going to help you move on. Okay. Um, yeah, let's let's keep going because I, I got some more but I wanna clarify. Uh what is let's see guidance from your spirit guides. That's high one. Guidance. Let's take another one now that we got two for all of them. Knight of Swords and the Magician. Okay, so the magician is all about making your dreams come true. It's about magic, right? And that magic, it's in all of us. Knight of Swords, you know, it's, uh, it's a card of action. How far can I go to reach my dreams? You got, you got the magic. You got the magic. You can do this. Okay, whatever your thoughts are, because it's collectively reading, and I, I cannot really tap specifically into everybody's thoughts and journey. But the magician tells me that you got all the tools to make this happen. Okay, all right, let's keep on going. Okay, Ace of Swords, beautiful, and uh, potential outcome, please. Potential outcome. Like the outcome, please. Thank you. Okay. Seven of Wands. Let's get one more, please. 
An eight of pentacles. Yes, 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 absolutely. After a minute, after a hot minute, okay, of healing, this is a meditative state, right? Now you're going back to work. Eight of pentacles. It's all about projects creating, working on something, working on yourself, working on a project, working around something but you got the tools okay you got the magician you got four ones coming um and the hierophant okay judgment justice oh my god look at these three major arcanas it's it's coming together that's all you have to need to know it's coming together okay let's clarify a couple of these cards clarify the four of pentacles why do you have to keep your cards close to your chest at the moment okay you don't have the answers yet you don't have the answers yet to something the moon is about fears, right? It's about illusions. It's about not seeing correctly something, not seeing specifically something. And then, but look what's coming, Ace of Swords, which is all about truth, acknowledgement, clarity. Yes, yes. So, yes, I, I would say keep keep all the information all the money you have close to your chest at the moment for the moment because your answers they will come but understand that these answers will come from internally they're not going to come from your exterior uh, world okay just wait i would say four weeks that's what i said before so yes i love this all right, um, let's see. Let's clarify the two of wands, the challenge, okay? Waiting, waiting. Five of wands and king of cups. Okay, king of cups, it's an air energy. Uh, sorry, a water energy, okay? Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. I have a feeling like this is a father figure for some of you. And if it's not a fa father figure, then it's some, somebody close to you that's creating just a little bit of stress. Yeah, um, I, think, I think it's a, it's a matter of time passing than anything else with this person and just not getting involved on an emotional side of you so yes it might be a battle but it's coming to an end okay it might be a struggle but it's coming to an end okay let's see so what is the secret what's what are you holding or what's the other person holding again please uh, if this doesn't resonate uh, on your side please switch it okay seven of swords Pentacles. One more place. Okay. King of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Knight of Swords. Um. Let's see. I I think there's so King of Pentacles. It's an Earth sign, right? Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgo. I think I think somebody knows what your plans are. This person, King of Pentacles. And they will help you move through through this energy. It it feels like you have an earth sign and the fire sign that's really on your side. Okay, and 
that they know what you're planning to do next. And these people are going to help you. Not a lot of people knows that these two people are on your side. It's a secret, one way or another, okay? Okay, let's, uh, what else should we clarify? Um, what's this Ace of Cups? What's coming? What's in the light? Tell me more about this beautiful Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to open your heart. And the Empress. Yes, 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 yes. You have to cultivate and allow to cultivate this unconditional love. This is unconditional love in the Empress. It's, it's you know, it's the most uh, nurturing and abundant, um, you know, I would say feminine side, but it can be also um, a male. So yeah, I would say open your heart, don't be afraid to open your heart and allow, allow, allow compassion and unconditional love to be cultivated through you. Do not be, af don't be afraid. That's what I'm, I'm hearing right now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You will get there. Okay, so there's a message here, right? Let's see. Uh, what are your nice? What's your blind spot? Let's see here. Nine of Swords and Eight of Wands. The Star. Wish fulfillment. Healing. Understand that whatever you're going through. It will take you to wish fulfillment. It will help you heal whatever thoughts and fears you're working through here. Okay, let's get one more. One more, please. please. One more. Yes, it's a period of you going inwards and not outside, right? Um, and once you do that, the sky's the limit. Eight of Wands. It's about travel, it's about movement, it's about, you know, messages, it's about anything, anything positive. Okay, anything else that I... I should clarify, please. Um, let's let's clarify uh, like the outcome: seven of wands and eight of pentacles. What's this project about? I'm not gonna take it because it doesn't feel right. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> okay. Seven of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. You've got this, okay? The spirit guides want me to say you've got this. Seven of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. What's this project about? Eight of Pentacles. It's a project that took a while to to be fruitful, to come to fruition. Okay, tell me more, please. But you know how it is: slow and steady wins the race. I joke, cups. It's cute. Um, okay, so we got four of wands again, which is what it's expecting for you to to uh, get to, right? What's coming? And Queen of Swords. I thought I saw another Queen. No. Okay. Um, what's gonna get you to it is you being discerning. That's what I'm hearing. Being discerning, being logic about the situation. Do not allow other people 
to tell you what to do or how to feel okay the queen of swords it's somebody that knows exactly what the plan is and she will cut through anything to get there metaphorically of course <laughs> and for once which really success accomplishment it can be you oh, okay it can be you uh, buying a house and really investing into something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness in uh, in the future so that's why you have to keep your money and invest coming up soon okay all right uh hopefully this was helpful i am going to just get an oracle card as we're going to end this reading please make sure you like and subscribe this is um, one of my first videos out there i've been doing this for a while but i'm taking this this whole thing to uh, YouTube and I'm super excited to be here with you guys to help you heal and empower yourself all right let's get an oracle or two cards uh, this is a spirit uh, animal oracle Colette, Colette Baron Wright read okay let's see Final guidance, spirit guides, for power one. Thank you for final guidance. Thank you so much. Yes! Okay. 21. Be at peace. Love it. So we got a 2 and a 3. 4 plus 8. Um, let's see. Life is speeding up and time for a beginner mind. That's exactly what you need to know. Yes, there was a period when you needed to sit with yourself, alchemize, heal, invest in yourself. You know, life is speeding up. It's time for you to have a beginner's mind. And you have people helping you out, okay? So, the sky is the limit. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Hello Pile 2, this is the beautiful feather that you picked, so smooth, if you pick this uh, pile, uh, I am using the Tarot of the Seven Eight Doors, thank you so much for being here with me, here has been raining and uh, it's been very stormy in California so a lot of people might might know what's going on <laughs> okay so we're gonna we're gonna do a spread for you guys for pile two we're gonna start with the most important energy that needs to come through for you guys okay let's go thank you so much guys the magician Look at you, you got all the tools to make something happen. You got a pentacles, you got a wand, you got the water, you got the air. What are you waiting for? <laughs> you are the magician of your life. Okay? Alright, let's get going, let's keep going. The challenge, what? What's the challenge for pile two? Thank you so much. Do I have this? Yeah, for sure. Eight of Swords, the challenge. Stress, fears, dark thoughts, haunting thoughts. But why? You are the magician. Right? You are the, you are the magician. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we'll clarify all this, okay? Um, let's see what's what's in the shadows. What's underlying this energy? What's in the shadows? What's in the shadows? Please for pile two. Thank you. 
talking with the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, I'm going to take a break so I can channel, guys, okay? So just bear with me. It just feels like a connection that might be a little toxic here. But we'll clarify, okay? Let's come to an end. Look, let's see what's coming to an end in the next future. What's coming to an end for Pile of Truth, please? Uh, High Priestess. Okay. High Priestess, it's a. Uh, it's somebody who might hold secrets. Very spiritual. As you can see, she's depicted as a witch. Okay, let's move on. What's crumbling this energy, please? What's crumbling this energy? Five of Pentacles. Okay, um, Five of Pentacles, it's it's a card of lack. It's a card of emptiness. What's coming? This energy, please. King of Swords, Snare Sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Well, I'm I'm actually hearing Libra on this one, so my, you might be dealing with a Libra. Um, but I feel that whatever you're worried about, this will resolve. Absolutely. Okay, and let's see. What's your blind spot? File two. What's your blind spot? Seven of cups. Too many choices? Give me one more. Before. Yep. You want to take a leap of faith. And you've got too many choices in your palm. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So whatever whatever you're afraid about, you know, making the choices, I think it's important for you. It's important for you to look at things from a practical side because you're too much in your head right now. Okay, we'll clarify this. Uh, let's see, outside influences. Outside influences, please. Outside influences, thank you. Strength. You might be dealing with a Leo, but I think you have to realize how strong and capable you are on your own. You can tame a lion, right? Okay, let's see, like the outcome. Like outcome please. Seven of Swords, like the outcome. Are you a painter? Are you an artist? <laughs> That's what I see every time I see. For me, you know, sometimes Seven of Swords, it's really not that loom and gloom as uh, some, uh, you know, some other tarot readers make it to be. Um, the Seven of Swords can be a strategic card, so we'll clarify that. But that's the advice. Be strategic, okay? Let's see, uh, in likely outcome. Likely outcome, please. Three of Wands. Yeah, wait for the ships to come. They are coming, okay? King of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Cups. Oh, this is Five of Pentacles, did I say? Yeah. 
But anyway, uh, in the Emperor of Five Wands. Okay, I mean, there's some, there's some um, struggles coming, coming up here, but your spirit guides are telling you that you are the magician. Okay, you got all the tools to make something happen. Do not forget that. Okay, let's uh, let's get some clarifications, and then we'll get a better picture of this, please. Highest good of the collective for pile two, three guys. Oh, fortune. Okay, I'm not going to clarify the magician because we know exactly what it means. But I am going to clarify out of sorts. What's the stress? What is the fear that you're going through right now? Okay. Eight of swords, please, and thank you. Eight of swords. Alright, king of swords. We have a king of swords here. What's coming in three of wands? I think you're afraid this is not going to come to fruition and then it will all collapse. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, no, it's not going to. Sorry, I was just my spirit guides was saying something. It's not going to. It's just a period of waiting right now. And sometimes waiting can create these dark thoughts, right? Oh my God, why is it not coming? You know, what have I done? What have I not done? But I will tell you that um, if you're dealing with an air sign, which I think you are, um, this will happen. My, you might actually be um, waiting for somebody to come from, I don't know, to move to you. We'll see. But th the, the cards are saying that uh, there's no need. There's no need to be in this energy, in this Eight of Swords. Okay? All right, let's see in, uh, in the shadows. What is this devil? The Diavolo. What is this devil about, please? What is this devil about? Six of Swords, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands. Uh, too little, too soon, I've heard. I think... I think there's a, a relationship here that you need to move away from. Because it's too toxic. I do not feel that this is about the King of Swords. Okay? I feel like this is some it might be it might not just it might not be a person that you're holding on to, it might just be a feeling, an emotion. Page of Cups, it's um it's a very, you know, friendly, uh immature feeling so you might be getting a very is that, that's why I said that it's, it's too little and too late maybe because you're not getting you're not getting you know the, uh, the king of cups you're getting the page of cups so if you're fighting if you are in a position where you have two people that you have to choose from or two work projects or you know two jobs then the person that holds on to you like a like a little chain you know like like so oh you know contacting you and you know and giving you just a little to stay around then you gotta get rid of that person okay or that job or anything whatever whatever fits to you the High Priestess, what's coming to an end? Nine of Cups, 
understanding what's coming to an end is understanding that you've done the job okay you are the high priestess you are the intuitive super intuitive whoever i'm reading this from from for uh, you are very intuitive and you found, you, you know that happiness is a choice, okay? Happiness is not optional or, you know, happiness is not happening based on something. No, happiness is a choice and you found that. You got that. Okay? You went in, within, and now you've come out as Nine of Cups, which is for wish fulfillment understanding that you are perfectly fine with or without somebody okay your cup is filled look at all those cups <laughs> you're just holding there oh let me have another one of those cups because i'm feeling my like myself you know <laughs> all right five of pentacles what's going synergy what's this disappointment here Two of Wands, Three of Cups, uh, somebody in your family might be, might be sick or there's, there's some bad news happening there. Um, it can be a sibling, it can be somebody close to you. But I have a feeling that whatever, whatever this is about, they will be healing okay things will turn out positive just you know seven of pentacles it's about reviewing and waiting two of wands is pretty much the same three of cups can be about celebrations but can but it's also about um connections siblings and close relationships in general all right, and uh, let's see, King of Swords, what's coming? I like this King of Swords, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's see. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading and some things might resonate for you and some might not. So please just uh, take what resonates and just leave the rest, okay? Okay, Justice, Libra. Yes, that's exactly what I was saying. This gives me a Libra feeling. Um, okay, let me get on the one. What's coming? Three of Swords. Wow, that's cool. Huh? <laughs> okay, let me go get it. Queen of Cups. It's 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 all about. It's all about the the water. It's it's a water element, right? So. It's super intuitive, compassionate, and I think this will blend really well. This person will blend with you really well. This is also a um, water sign, right? It's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay, let's move on. Uh, what else? What else should we clarify? Let's clarify. Seven of Cups and the Fool. What? Two blind spot. What's your blind spot? The Sun. Eight of Cups. And seven of Cups. Again. And a Pentacles. Okay, so. What basically this says is that you need you need some space. I think there's just too many things in your head right now. Okay, so you get you have to get out of your hair head to be able to find the answer, to be able to find the clarity, which is the sun. Okay, and you might have to leave something behind here. That's why also the the stress and thoughts and maybe dreams a lot of dreams too because there's so, there's something here that you know the answer will come you 
can be sure of that. But the answer will come with something that, you know, will make you decide against um, someone, right, in your life or a project. But it's not going to come with smiles, you know, and things like that. It's going to be a tough decision for you. But at the end of the bridge, Nine of Pentacles is waiting for you, okay? Which is an independent energy, uh, a nurturing energy. She's got the goods, she's got the looks, she's got it all. She might not have somebody by her side, but she can have anyone she wants. He, she wants, okay? All right, uh, let's, what, let's clarify this guidance, which is Seven of Swords, okay? Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands. And Ace of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? Like, yes, strategize. Yes, work on that project, that, that thing that makes you happy. If you're an artist and you're painting or you want to take painting classes or musician classes, please do it, okay? Because look what's coming. Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You might feel that maybe something is lacking in your life, but that's probably that's exactly what's lacking, okay? It's that thing that makes you happy. And it's coming with Ace of Pentacles, which is new beginnings, new opportunities. So yes, if you feel like you have to do something and that makes you happy, do it. This is the time. And Three of Wands, like okay, okay. Three of Wands, please. <laughs> kidding? Oh. Ten of Pentacles. My goodness. Your ships are going to come in. Your legacy, it's in the making, right? Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. I mean, I'm done. It's, it's just important to know that these fears, this stress that, you're cre uh, that you created, because I, I, this is man-made, it's, it's an illusion, okay? You got the key. You got the key to the next step of your life. And how do you want it to, to show up like, right? You're going to show up like something that's super creative and makes you happy and brings you this? Yes, you do. Because this is what, this is what the spirit guides and your spirit guides want you to know. That... If you do what you love and what makes you happy, you're going to get here. Patience. With patience. But you're going to get here. Okay? Seven of the chariot. Travel. Um, it's, it's not only about travel, but it's about... Um, you know, I, I can see somebody really being, being uh, in the artistic field. You know, like even on stage performing. Beautiful. Okay, let's get some cards. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a normal card for the begin for the for the end of the spread and for the beginning of your beginning. <laughs> uh, this is spirit oracle animal. Pile two, please. Thank you so much. Pile two. Sometimes life stings, yep. Sometimes life stings, but it, it's basically like saying, you know, if somebody makes gives you lemon, how about you make some lemonade? Trust. Okay? Trust the green mystery. Even though sometimes life stings, trust will take you here. Trust in the fact that you are the magician, okay? That you got the tools. And you can make it happen. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
Bye bye. Hello, this is for whoever picked pile number three. This is an amethyst. I love amethyst. Actually, purple is my favorite color. And I notice that every time I wear this color, or I have, you know, like a ring or something like that, uh, on me, I get very calm. I get in my element. So, yeah, I would recommend you to, to get something like that, or maybe anything, anything with an amethyst. So, yeah, let's get on with your reading. Uh, let's see, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck, Gilded Tarot Royale, for you, file number three. Please make sure, if you like this reading, to like and subscribe, that would help me tremendously. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm going to send messages on for the highest good of the collective. Highest good only. I don't think this so much. Okay, let's see. We're gonna start with the most important energy that needs to come through for you and then move from there, okay? And we'll do some, uh, we'll clarify that's why as well. So, let's see. If you hear anything in the background, it's my dog. <laughs> Most important energy for pile three. Pile three. Thank you so much. Seven of Wands. It's an energy of um, being defensive about something or protecting something. It's also Seven of Wands, it's a fire energy. So. Let's keep going. Um, we're going to clarify all of this, okay? Uh, let's see the challenge. What is the challenge for pile number three? Pile number three, please. Challenge is the world, okay? Ending the cycle, letting something go. This is a Taurus car for me, but also Capricorn. So you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay, um, again, this is a collect collective reading, so some of the things might resonate for you and some might not. Please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Don't make it fit if it doesn't. Just like the Cinderella shoe. <laughs> anyway, that where that come came from? Goodness. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see in the shadows. What's in the shadows for pile number three? What's in the shadows for pile number three? The subconscious. Okay. Eight of Cups, yes. I feel like you're holding on to something. And you know, it's time to let it go. Eight of Cups, it's time of, you know, uh, turning your back on these Cups, emotions, people, situations, and uh, letting it go. It might be a Taurus or a Capricorn. They have to let go of. It's, it's not an easy thing. I can tell you that. Okay, what's coming for me? Pile number three, please. Thank you. Two of ones. Okay. A new journey, a new adventure. I love all these beautiful animals. Okay, I feel like you have a special connection with animals. That's what's coming through. You might be living in an area where you have a lot of wildlife. Okay, let's keep going. What's crowning this energy? What's crowning? What's crowning? What's crowning this energy? What's in the light, spirit guys? Thank you. 
the tower. Yes, it's like I'm five stories. Okay. The tower comes when we don't do what we're supposed to be doing. We, we are not listening to our higher self or to our intuition. The tower is an unexpected event, but it's for your highest good. Okay. Let's keep going. What's coming? Near future, please. Release. Ten of Wands. I mean, it, it could not be more clear than, than it is. You have to let something go. And if you don't let it go, the tower is going to come. This is in the light. It's like showing up. The tower, here I am. You wanted it or you didn't want it. It's for your highest good. Always. You have a lot of burdens going on. Again, beautiful... Um, dear anyway um you have a lot of burdens going on and you have to let it go what about you that's what i'm hearing but but okay all this but what about you can you keep carrying all this do you want to carry all this maybe the future is going to get even bigger this pile what about you Okay. What's your blind spot? Pile number three. What's your blind spot, please? Justice. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it is a sacrifice. The hanging man is sacrificing something here. Um, it's an element of sacrifice, but you need to bring balance to the situation. You need to speak your truth. We have the sword here and the sun, which is acknowledging the truth and allowing things to balance out. We'll clarify this, okay? Uh, outside influences. Outside influences for pile number three. Thank you so much. Ones, outside influences it's 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 an element and an energy of defeating being defeated feeling defeated but I feel that it's in your hands I like it I actually like it because you come with the seven of wands right it's like enough I'm gonna leave all these wands down and I'm gonna rise up when I rise up, it doesn't matter how tired or how uh, exhausted I feel, emotionally or physically, it doesn't matter. I know that I have all that I need. And the influence, it's really you. I would suggest you uh, getting out in nature more, okay? All these cards suggest that. Okay. Let's see, what's your advice from the spirit guides? Advice, advice from the spirit guides. High priestess. High priestess, anything else? Advice from the spirit guides. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Six of Wands and Ace of Wands. This is your advice. Listen to your intuition, okay? might be dealing with somebody with uh, initials J and B. But if you listen to your intuition and you let things go that are not, you know, there's, there's some things that you have to go because maybe at one point in time it was something that you needed in your life, but you don't need it anymore, okay? It can be it can be a thing, but it also can be a person, as I said, a Taurus or a Capricorn. But there's Ace of Wands and Six of Wands. It's all about victory. It's all about new 
passionate beginnings. It's waiting for you. It's waiting for you, like literally at the door, waiting for you. Okay? It's important for you to acknowledge your power. Acknowledge what needs to go, because something needs to go. And understand that success, recognition, it's yours, it's coming. Okay? And it comes with some passionate wand right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you can like the outcome, please. Like that thumb. Sorry about that, it's my dog. Can't come. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. So it's uh, it's an energy of um, stress, panic, um, but it's 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 an energy of um, how can I say? It's not something that's rooted in the truth. It's it's a fear that you created and that is not real. Right? Nine of Swords, Strength, I need one more. Do you see this, this strength? How it's looking the other way? It's saying, you are this, you are not that. Come, come to me. I got what it takes. Peace, harmony. I love the colors and the and the lion, of course, which is tamed by her, the hermit. Okay. The, what this tells me basically is that um, whatever you're afraid to let go, you might be afraid to let to let it go because you think you you might think that you are going to lose something significantly, significantly and it's a part of you somehow or some way. In other words, you are a divine human being and it doesn't matter where you are or what you do or what you leave behind, you are still whole. Okay, for ones at the bottom. Right, let me clarify these things really quick. I'm getting a lot of messages from Spirit Guides, that's why I'm stopping. Uh, let's see, Seven of Wands, let's clarify Seven of Wands, most important energy. Ten of Cups. See, you need to leave this, this one's stress burden away because Ten of Cups is waiting for you. It's like you are, be, you are defending, oh well, I'm fine being not okay. I'm okay being not okay, so I'm just gonna defend myself from Ten of Cups, from happiness, like endless happiness, you know, think about that. Anything else? Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands, please, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, it's a, um, it's a passionate, um, knows what she, he wants at all times, but it's not, they don't easily settle down. You might be that, or you you might dealing, you might be dealing with somebody that it's that, okay? Not easily settling down, not easily being committed. Let's see the world, the challenge here, the world, eight of pentacles, yeah, somebody's not working on relationship, being shady, it's 
So if this person it's it's the person that I'm talking about, you gotta you gotta let that go. Okay? Eight of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. It's basically saying, Well, I don't wanna work on this situation, but you know, I'll just give you a little bit just so you know so I can keep you hanging. Passion, right? Queen of Wands. Beautiful, passionate, you know, uh everybody is attracted. To that energy but it's not it's not a uh, commitment material okay eight of cups what's in the shadows knight of wands knight of wands nine of wands yeah it's it's an energy of uh, you know knight of wands it's super flaky in and out this is the energy that you have to let it go. A little cups makes you stressed, makes you um, question things. When the you are worthy of commitment, you're worthy of somebody that will give you exactly what you want. Walk away from that. Okay, no need to keep waiting on something that will probably never never happened okay let's see the tower the tower please. yes the sun happiness the most beautiful beautiful card in the deck the sun and the high priestess yes you know what you have to do you know exactly what you have to do and what makes you happy and where the path is leading you where the intuition and your intuition and higher self is leading you you know you, you you have to allow that tower to happen ten of wands what do you have to release what do you have to release ten of wands thank you so much <laughs> you can be dealing with a Scorpio but I feel that there's a cycle in your life that you have to completely let go not only 99% but completely why because ace of cups is here okay unconditional love new vibrant matching love it's waiting for you might be dealing with somebody with a W or an M. This really comes out right now. Okay, what else should we? This is pretty straightforward. I feel like, you know, a lot of times we just, we feel within us that, yes, you know, I, this is something that's not aligning with me anymore. Yet we hold on to it for various reasons and spirit is telling you that you have to let it go it's time uh let's see what else should we clarify let's clarify nine of swords strength and the hermit likely outcome the emperor can you can deal you can could be dealing with an aries Three of Wands, Ten of Wands. It's time for you to take your blind off and see the beauty of life, okay? And see that there's so many opportunities out there and that um, nobody can stop you. Once you've done the work, once you've done the inner work, you know exactly what do you have to do? Take the blind off. Look towards the future. And you will find that stability which the Emperor brings. Okay, let's see. Nine of Swords. Nothing to worry about. Tower, yes. Tower will come. And the star will shine. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing to be afraid of 
absolutely nothing okay let's see i'm gonna do like a really quick if if this is a love reading which i feel in some way it is for some of you then i'm gonna get a card from the romantic angels guidance and guidance please thank you so much and a guidance for card number three if you enjoy this reading please like and subscribe it would really help me tremendously i would appreciate that very much let's see do i get a card do i get a card for pile number three yes i do thank you forgiving learning as you release i'm telling you like I love, I love doing tarot. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I'll just leave you with this. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you soon. Ciao.